Item number SCP-1522 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were attracted and monitored by MTF-Pi-2, aka Baldur's Pyre. MTF-Pi-2 vehicles consisted of two Hamilton-class cutters and one natural security cutter, SCPS Menos, with associated aircraft. Civilian maritime traffic was directed away from the expected course of SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2. When this was not possible, MTF-Pi-2 ships were to fire flares in order to attract and lead SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 into isolated ocean areas. Description: SCP-1522 refers to two fishing trawlers, SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2, each 39 meters in length. SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were capable of speed surpassing that of their specifications. Prior to Incident 1522-RO, their highest observed speed was 120 knots. Controls on SCP-1522-1's and SCP-1522-2's bridges were capable of autonomous movement, but were immovable by Foundation personnel. SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were assumed to be sapient and usually responded to SCPS vessel signals to change course. Records indicate SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were manufactured simultaneously in 1991 at the Parkhole Marine Shipyard of Whitby, United Kingdom. After construction, SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were kept in Whitby Harbor for several months due to financial complications before being sold to separate buyers. They served with their respective companies for three years before being decommissioned as a result of recurrent mechanical issues. No anomalous effects were present during this time. It is unclear whether SCP-1522-1 or SCP-1522-2 actually underwent a decommissioning process. In May 1997, SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were detected in a refurbished and repainted condition off the southern coast of Alaska. Foundation VBSS operations found no crew aboard either ship. SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were tracking a gray whale mother and calf. Using modified active sonar pings to mimic cessation calls, SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 spent the majority of their time finding and engaging in play-like activity with various whale species. The hulls of SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 regularly came into contact for prolonged periods while observing the animals. During a seven-month period spent in the Arctic, presumably searching for the bowhead whale, SCP-1522-2 collided with an iceberg. Part of the iceberg penetrated SCP-1522-2's outer hull and was unable to free itself. SCP-1522-1 spent several weeks towing SCP-1522-2 and the iceberg into warmer waters until the iceberg had melted. SCP-1522-2 remained afloat, but was not subsequently observed moving faster than 10 knots. Addendum 1522-1 Event Log of Incident 1522-RO Taking place 60 km northwest of Ullapool, Scotland, in mid-2011 Forward the following log is a composite account of eyewitness reports and video feeds taken from members of MTF-Pi-2. SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were following a pod of minke whales. Begin log. 1151 SCP-1522-1 curves around the bow of SCP-1522-2 before briefly accelerating to 80 knots, creating a large wave which splashes several minke whales and causes SCP-1522-2 to rock slightly. 11.54 SCP-1522-2 comes up to the port side of SCP-1522-1 and sounds its foghorn. They turn together in a southwesterly direction. 12.18 both SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 come to a complete stop. No activity is registered from either ship for a period of 17 seconds. SCP-1522-1 then focuses its weather surveillance radar on SCP-1522-2 and sounds its foghorn three times in slow succession. 12-19 SCP-S Minnows detects a RGM-84 harpoon inbound on a bearing of 340. 
Vector indicates SCP-1522-2 as target. 1220 SCP-1522-2 sounds its foghorn four times and begins moving at eight knots to touch its hole with that of SCP-1522-1. SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 collide gently. SCPS Minnows detects a second RGM-84 harpoon on a bearing of 340. 1222 SCP-1522-1 moves and turns to a bearing of 340. SCP-1522-1 then accelerates to Mach 4, resulting in large plumes of steam and the creation of a bow wave of approximately 60 meters in height. SCP-1522-1 vanishes over the horizon in 23 seconds. 1223 Harpoon missiles hit SCP-1522-2's starboard side. SCP-1522-2's hull is ruptured and it begins to sink. All lights in SCP-1522-2 go out. 1226 SCP-1522-1 is seen returning from the direction it previously left. SCP-1522-1's foghorn is continually blaring. SCP-1522-1 tries to prevent SCP-1522-2 from taking on water by moving to SCP-1522-2's starboard side. 1228 As SCP-1522-2 becomes completely submerged, numerous active sonar pings are detected, originating from SCP-1522-1. SCP-1522-1 begins a series of complex high-speed movements, resultant subsurface wave patterns create multiple zones of high pressure below SCP-1522-2, in an apparent effort by SCP-1522-1 to cause SCP-1522-2 to resurface. 1230 SCP-1522-2 is no longer visible from the surface. SCP-1522-1 ceases all activity. 1600 an MH-65C Dolphin helicopter is launched from SCPS Minos and approaches SCP-1522-1 for monitoring. No change in activity is reported. 1936 SCP-1522-1 lets out a sustained call from its foghorn. SCPS Minos sonar detects large rectangular masses detaching from SCP-1522-1, later found to be parts of SCP-1522-1's hull. SCP-1522-1 fully submerged within 10 minutes. Closing Statement SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2 were to be raised and beached, and preparation to be taken for salvage at Site-6, Svalbard. Weather conditions caused salvage operations to be delayed for several months, resulting in the decayed condition seen above. The remains of a GOC ship of indeterminate class was discovered at 59 degrees 30 north, 6 degrees 09 west. No lifeboats were found. Addendum 1522-2 During the recovery investigation of the vessels, two small partially formed apparently non-anomalous rowing boats were recovered from within the hull of SCP-1522-2. These vessels were extracted from SCP-1522-2 and are currently stored in situ at Site-6, Svalbard. Addendum 1522-3 Following the beaching of SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2, an unclear humanoid figure was spotted near the wrecks. No such figure was detained. The note below was found on the bridges of SCP-1522-1 and SCP-1522-2. They were happy before the end. Not all ships had to pass in the night. Pengloss.